Our scripture lesson today comes from Jeremiah 13, verse 1 through 11. I'm going to be reading this out of the New English Translation, and as I read it, you'll know why I picked this translation for us today. Jeremiah. The Lord said to me, go and buy some linen shorts and put them on. Do not put them in water. So I bought the shorts as the Lord had told me to do and put them on. <coughs> then the Lord spoke to me again and said, take the shorts that you bought and are wearing and go at once to Parth. Buy, bury the shorts there in a crack in the rocks. So I went and buried them at Parth as the Lord had ordered me to do. Many days later, the Lord said to me, Go at once to Parth and get the shorts I ordered you to bury there. So I went to Parth and dug up the shorts from the place where I had buried them. I found that they were ruined. They were good for nothing. Then the Lord said to me, I, the Lord, say, This shows how I will ruin the highly exalted position in which Judah and Jerusalem take pride. These wicked people refuse to obey what I have said. They follow the stubborn inclinations of their own hearts and pay allegiance to other gods by worshiping and serving them. So they will become just like these linen shorts, which are good for nothing. For I say, just as shorts cling tightly to a person's body. So I bound the whole nation of Israel and the whole nation of Judah tightly to me. I intended for them to be my special people and to bring me fame, honor, and praise. But they would not obey me. Here ends the reading of God's word for us today. There's a lot of good stuff in this piece of scripture, but I want to keep this short. So I'm going to make a short dash to the punchline. When I was serving the Amherst United Methodist Church in Amherst, Wisconsin, their youth group had a section of highway that we cleaned up during the year. You know, the Adopt a Highway program. When I was out with the youth group, I found, believe it or not, I found a lot of really good things. Things that I kept. Things that I used. And one day, I found a pair of shorts. I did. I found a pair of shorts. At first, when I looked at them, they appeared salvageable. Just a little wash and I'd be able to get some use out. But when I looked closer, they were filled with holes where the fabric had rotted away. They weren't any good anymore because they had been in the mud. They had been in water for too long, and they were no good for nothing. In these verses from Jeremiah, the shorts he spoke about represented the country of Judah. In verse 11, God was saying that Judah was called to cling to him like a pair of shorts with a tight waistband. But in verse 10, we see that Judah did just the opposite. They became like those shorts I found along the highway, ugly and filthy. Because the people of Judah refused to follow God and went their own way. The shorts represented Judah's faith, which they, in essence, took off and discarded. Theirs was a fallen faith and a fallen desire to serve the Lord. Friends, our faith becomes like a dirty, rotten pair of shorts Whenever we
we discard God's ways and wishes in order to follow our own inclinations, our own desires. Holding tight to God is when we do God's work, like our church has done many times, helping those in need. Holding tight to God is when we follow in God's ways of goodness and kindness to friends and strangers. Becoming a good-for-nothing pair of shorts is when we become idle in kingdom business to pursue our own self-centered gain. In other words, our faith becomes soiled. Soiled in the filthy sins of apathy and selfishness. Instead of serving God, we, like Judah, often serve idols like our job or money, appearance, possessions, and the list goes on and on, as we know. What we have learned this morning is that in order to exhibit our faithfulness to God, we must keep our shorts of devotion tight around the waist and close to the God, to the Lord, ready at all times for work in the Lord's kingdom. If we tire of God's work and instead pursue our own selfish desires, then we will become like a pair of rotted chains that are no longer good. If we, true, if we remain true to the Lord and keep ourselves busy with winning souls for the kingdom, then one day we will receive not a new pair of shorts, but a new garment of white to wear as we walk with the Lord into eternity. Amen.